Hello bro, so I'm with Testific Zero, Bro Fire Production, Nick, but the Sakura Agent. Start from right here, and we load in where we left off. No, whatever her name was, so just broke into my house, and for some reason she's sucking on a white cucumber? Looking back at me with a banana halfway into her mouth. That does not look like a banana. <laughs> it's no no other than Masumi. Oh, hey Akira. What's up? Please tell me what you're doing in my apartment. Part of me is uh, relieved, but another part of it is kind of worried. I just happened to follow you home. Sorry, I was quite full after that meal you shared with me. So I hope you don't uh, mind if I help myself to some of the stuff in your fridge. I shake my head, head at her. Couldn't you have just asked? Seriously, I had my gun on me. I could have accidentally hurt you. Don't worry about me. I'm too tough to be hurt by bullets. She makes some kind of awkward flexing pose as she leans back. Flexing doesn't really work when uh, you have no muscle definition. Ah, don't be such a critic. She pouts a little bit. I see you're still dressed in your usual attire. Yep. She sticks out her chest, the tiny bikini covering up, uh, stretching to a breaking point. Hmm. Although Kimoko makes a big fuss about how you dress, I find it pretty appealing. Thanks, I like this look too. Masumi goes back to chewing on her banana. Hmm, bananas are the best. Well, really, going around in underwear isn't such a big deal actually, because bikini is technically as revealing as underwear so <laughs> so I don't see what the point if people will start walking around in underwear would be many people would say it's so <coughs> wrong but it's just like wearing a bikini and seriously short for guys and then those are just a little longer than underwear so seriously <laughs> hmm bananas are the best I just love how uh, perfectly shaped they are for fitting into your mouth. It's like someone intended it to be uh, a perfect fit. She slides more and more of the fruit into her mouth. Am I just imagining things or is this uh, strangely erotic? Well, I'm glad you like them. She bites down on her it lightly, just enough for the pressure to sink into it. Then she takes a proper bite, happily chewing. Bananas, mmm, are the best. She mumbles in between mouthfuls of banana. You really shouldn't talk with your mouthful. She pouts at me a little bit. I'll talk whenever I want. Okay, okay. No need to get offended. Well, I worked out that it's not a threat. I'm going back to bed. Remember, rookie. Next time you visit, ask for permission first. No problem, Akira. See you later today. Yeah, see you then. I saw the exit the kitchen, leaving her to finish her snack. Something tells me that it would be a good idea not to mention this to Kimiko. Kimiko seems to be a bit better than yesterday. So, Akira. I got a new batch of orders for us from HQ. What is that? Is that they want this time? Apparently, there's been a lot of breaches occurring along the coastlines. Who would have thought space squids like the sea? I wish you wouldn't call them space squids. They're entanglers. But that's uh, what they are glorified squids from space. Well, you will just have to deal with it. A couple of agents are going to be assigned to look out duty. 
Since the activity around the coast has been spiked lately, they suspect that something big is about to go down. Hmm. We still don't know where these breaches even come from. But it's obvious that there's some um, sort of intelligent force behind it. it. Why does they seem to be more interested in making it like more about battle in like the Sakura? Seriously, Sakura Dungeon, Sakura. Uh, what's it called now? Wait. Yeah, Sakura Avian, Sakura Nova, Sakura Dungeon. All of those have been about fighting. Seriously, they actually don't have to make it about fighting. Just make it a nice story as all of them has been. But it's obvious that there's some, some sort of internal force behind it. After all, the entangler invasion we dealt with the other day definitely showed that they were being controlled by something. So we're going to be stationed at the coast for a while. Yep, that's the uh, gist of it. Sounds like it could be a lot of fun. I haven't been down to the beach in ages. Come on, Akira, okay, you know full well that you can't slack off. So don't think of it as fun. But her tone doesn't match what she's saying at all. I can't uh, just let <coughs> tell you that you're looking forward to it too. It would uh, be unprofessional of me to do anything like that. I'm guessing the rookie will be coming with us too. Well, yes. She's assigned to you, so wherever you go, she's going to be following. I can't help but notice a little bit of disappointment in her voice. Alright then. So how long will, will we be up there? A few days, perhaps. We're just uh, mobilizing to deal with whatever's going to happen. As we continue talking, I see someone walk out of one of the office rooms. Hey Akira, Kimoko, Kimiko. <laughs> Masumi waves to both of us. Before we know, she comes bounding over. Thanks for the banana this morning, Akira. Banana. What is she talking about, Akira? Oh boy. I didn't want to mention this to her. He gave me this big delicious banana. It was so big that I could barely fit it in my mouth. But the flavor was unforgettable. <laughs> Kimoko's face has a lost bit of color. Why is she tearing up even? Why on earth is Masumi warning of what happened so inappropriate? Damn this is going to require some careful word choice. Is this, this true, Akira? Yeah, she was just hungry. Somehow she got into the apartment and was raiding our fridge for snacks. I didn't want to wake you up, so I just went back to bed. Oh, <laughs> so you really did just give her a banana. Yes, what do you think it, I did? Her face just blushes a bit. I feel a little sad for Kimoko actually thinking that. Well, enough about that. I assume we were going to be staying around the coast for a few days. Until this big incursion goes down. Hmm. I was getting some bad vibes from the coast. Bad vibes? What do you mean? It's hard to say f how it works, but I just had uh, this funny feeling. Like I know something bad is going to happen. All of the people at my, in my hometown had something similar. Whenever we started getting a feeling like that, an incursion was not far away. That's a pretty useful skill to have. I don't like that feeling. It gets worse when uh, those nasty creatures begin plopping out of the breaches. So that's uh, why I like the, to squash them as soon as I can. Interesting. Kimoko, Kimiko seems so fascinated by the ID. What sort of sensation do you feel? It's it's cold. It's not a nice sensation. She shivers a little bit. Well, if it's a cold sens 
fashion, maybe you should wear more clothes. No, I like this outfit. Both of them are way too stubborn. Anyway, you're going to be going with us for sentry duty. That's not a problem, right? Not at all. Let's do me seems to get a bit pumped up. I will do my best. That's the spirit. Oh. I just remembered I have to get all of the paperwork done for the transfer. Don't worry, okay, I'll be back soon. Alright. I might take that rookie out to, uh, with me for a patrol. Show her the ropes. Well, I won't be able to leave HQ for a while. So do what you want, I guess. Kimiko walks off without saying goodbye. She seems sore uh, about something. Why haven't I gotten any choices in the story? They always usually ask stories, uh, I mean choices, pretty quickly. Don't worry about it. Anyway, I'd like you to show you around town. Are you up for it? So sure. Mansumi follows behind me cautiously. She seems to be having a lot of trouble navigating through the massive crowds around here. Hey, are you alright? I'm fine, I can look after myself. I know you're strong, but you can't squash people the same way you can squash an entangler. You got to lean to move with the flow rather than resisting it. I guided her through the crowd, slipping in and out of with ease. How, how are you doing that? Is that your power? Nah, I don't have any powers. You don't? The agency doesn't just hire people like you. Some of us regular guys are apparently worth having around too. Why did they pick you then? You really do like asking the hard questions, don't you? Just sorry. It doesn't look like she meant uh, any harm by the question. She just lacked a little tact, I guess. For some reason I had the tendency to survive things that other people normally wouldn't. Whether that dumb luck skill or some kind of weird ability, you can decide for yourself. So you must be really smart then. Nah, I'm not that smart. I just got, just got with a gun and I know how to dodge things. That's all. Uh, oh. She grows pretty quiet after that. Thank you for showing me around, by the way. Don't think any of it. You're going to have to learn these streets like the back of your hand if you want to survive out here. It's hard work, but it pays all right and it's uh, rewarding. Yep, I keep everyone safe from the incursions. Just like an action hero from the 80s movies. I thought uh, I was the only one who liked the cheesy 80s action flicks. Eh. I like... Uh, Actually, my uh, taste in uh, what I watch is pretty, pretty changing. But I like the Marvel movies. There's not a single Marvel movie, well, not one of the latest the Marvel movies that I don't like. I thought I was the only one with like the action flicks. Oh, oh, what about the Neon Rider series? I love that series. Neon Rider 3 The Lost Road was a letdown though. Tell me about it. Despite all the special effects and top grade actors, it just lost that low budget charm it had. That's exactly how I feel about it too. I guess cinema has just changed for the worse. I'd say it's just different. That's a mere shrugs. She is starting to open up to me more now. And I can't help but open up to her a bit too. Does Kimoko, Kimiko like those movies too? I tried to get her to watch one once. She said it was stupid. Oh. <laughs> she really is a serious person. I wish I knew how to become friends with her. That's just how she is. It takes her a long time to warm up to someone. Hell. <laughs> when we uh, been together for years and she still scolds me a fair bit. I guess so. But I can't help but feel like I'm on an outsider. I mean, we're just working together, but 
That doesn't mean that I don't have uh, the, to be friends with the people I work with. Hey, hey, you worry too much. You will find your place in, in the little team too. So don't worry about it. Just do you, uh, do you and everything else will work out. She nods herself thoughtfully. Okay, Akira. You look like kind of scary when I uh, first met you, but you aren't bad person. HQ thinks I'm bad. Oh, why? I got into some bad habits. I used to show up to work late constantly and kept getting distracted on assignments. The only reason why I haven't been kicked out yet is because I have a really high success rate with missions. Oh, why didn't you show up to work on time? I need my beauty sleep. That's it. <laughs> That's no good, Akira. You need to be up nice and early. Oh, now she's scolding me too. Oh boy. With her and Kimuka around, I'm always going to be in trouble. That was a long time ago though. Kimo Kimiko wakes me up on time. The two of you live in the same place. Yeah, we got half and half of the on the rent. It's pretty convenient. I, s I see. What's she blushing about? I was keep talking. A chorus seems to pull up beside us. Out of the driver's seat steps none other than my assistant Team Miko. There you two are. Come on, it's time to go. Team Miko ushers us into the back seat. But Masumi doesn't go. Is something wrong? I don't like cars. Just get in already. Kimiko begins pushing Masumi towards the open car door. I don't want to. <laughs> Masumi stands still and refuses to move. Ugh. I can see a gun starting to form in Kimo Kimiko's hand. I better do something before uh, this escalates. Hey Masumi, I think there's a s there's a spider in your sho on your shoulder. Which shoulder? Masumi stops paying attention to Kimiko. Go and start moving her head to check her shoulders. The moment the distraction is enough to knock her off balance. And for Kimoko, Kimiko to lose her balance too. I can't let, just let them fall. I have to try to catch her at least. I catch them both before they fall over. What are you doing Akira? Stopping you from falling over? Thanks. Come on, stop fooling around and get into the car, Masumi. Okay. <laughs> so I have no motion sickness and I can't stand being in cars. I see. Well, try your best to bear with it for now. Okay. <laughs> Looks like we're sold that easily enough. Well then. It, look, uh, it took us a while, but we finally arrived. Masumi wasn't lying uh, about her motion sickness. We had to make a multiply stuff to ensure that she didn't become ill. Actually, if I would have let them fall, I think I would have gotten a picture. But uh, I never play uh, any stories with choices without actually uh, uh, do as I always would have done. But I actually got the choice now, as I said earlier, I hadn't got it for long. With me in the driver's seat, the two of them sat uh, as far away from each other as possible. But hey, despite all of the trouble we went through to get here, I wa it was worth it. Come on to think of it, when uh, was the last time I even went to the beach? It must have been years ago. Masumi seems to be quite young here too. I haven't been to the beach in ages. Well, don't get too distracted. You're supposed to be standing watch, not running off to get our feet soaked. What? That can't be right. There's no reason why we can't do both, Kimiko. 
It goes right. Let's just have fun. Nasumi splashing and diving into the water. She's practically dressed in the bikini already. <laughs> I know, isn't it great? Kimi just flashing me a dirty look. What? It's nothing. If I know a single damn thing about women, it's that that is always something when uh, they say it's nothing. She must be feeling jealous. I guess I just have to keep my mouth shut for a while. What are you two talking about? I guess uh, Miko later on gonna dress exactly as I assume he also tried to get my attention. I can never bet that. What are you two talking about? Masumi asked the question innocently. Yet I can see Kimiko lets out a huff. Don't concern yourself with it. It uh, really is nothing. Okay. So where is uh, our outpost? There are beach house just a little further up the coast from here. That's where we'll be staying. There should be enough rooms for all of us to sleep separately. Don't worry, if there's not enough rooms, I just sleep outside. Come on, you can't do that. Yes, I can. I'm tough. She tries to flex again, but it doesn't look impressive at all. Look, just because you can do something doesn't mean that you should. I know you're tough, but I thought... <laughs> I, but I thought, but uh, I think you would work a lot better than have a good night's sleep. Well, if uh, she wants to, why don't you let her? Masumi nods eagerly uh, at this idea. Yes, I assure you. Just watch me. No, we are all sleeping in the house. Ah. She starts pouting to herself. Look, rookie. I'm your superior right now, so you have to listen to me. Good agents make sure that they are get <coughs> they get a good night's sleep. You never know when a breach uh, might occur, so deep restful sleep is very important. Okay? Well, okay. I guess I'm the rookie. Well then, shall we go have a look at this house? Yeah, let's do it. Sounds great. The afternoon sun pours into the beach house, fully Ill illuminating its interior with amber light. All of us just stand in the entrance for a moment and mind the beautiful house. Well, you just keep this around in case something needs to stay there. The agency looks after its own, that's for sure. Let's hope accidentally rushes in. There's so much room. She spins around on the spot. Take your shoes off before you start doing that on the floor. Kimiko is as serious as ever. Alright, so we'll be staying here until the massive breach opens up. After that we have to head back into the city. We'd be better enjoy this while it lasts then. Masumi finds a comfortable looking chair and plops into it. Ah, I will admit it's much nicer to sleep in, the, in a chair than outside. Sleep in a chair? Yeah. I like the way she support you back. Actually, I slept in a uh, in a chair <laughs> often for a couple of years ago. They were <coughs> they were very comfortable. <laughs> it's very comfortable. What about beds? Beds are okay, I guess. But chairs are much more convenient because you can easily move them around. Why would anything be inconvenient for you to move around? When I tried to move my bed when I was little, I made a massive hole in the wall. Everyone was so mad at me for a while. Right, sorry. What an unusual, what an unusual girl she is. Hey Akira. Can we talk for a moment? Sure. We enter another room. What do you think of her so far? Well, the agency is known uh, for getting eccentric ties to work for them. And we don't know her that well yet. 
you think she is going to be uh, useful when uh, this breach occurs? Of course. There's no reason why she wouldn't be. Right. <coughs> is there something you wanted to ask me? Yes. Are you really okay with things changing like this? Oh, I see what she means. Well, it's orders from the HQ. Not much I can do about it. That's not what I'm asking. I'm asking if you're okay with it. Assume it's a little odd, I give you that. But her being here doesn't change things between us, does it? I suppose not. Even though you've been here to keep getting me keeping getting an eye on me, that doesn't mean I want you to leave or anything. I'm not really sure what you're worried about. Yes, you're right. She seems to be to perk up a bit after that. I just were, I just worry a lot about you. You know, you never really give away what you're really thinking. So I don't know if I, you ever angry, happy, or upset with anything. The only way I really know what you think is just asking you in the bluntest manner possible. That's me, I guess, for the better or worse. Do you think I should be more open about how I feel about things? No, no, don't worry about that. I can just ask you anyway. Alright. I guess she's feeling a bit insecure at the moment. I know how she feels though. Someone like me doesn't like change too mu much. <coughs> I accept uh, it as something inevitable, so it becomes a lot easier to accept things when they do change. So what time are they expecting this breach to show up? Something during this week. The forecast isn't very precise this time. It could be tomorrow, uh, or it could be Sunday. So we have to remain vigilant. I know. No problem then. So how should we pass the time until then? Kimiko taps her fingers on her shin. How about a game of cards? Do we have a desk? Deck? Nope, but I can make one. Sure enough, I see a shape forming in Kimiko's hands. The look on her face becomes one uh, of steam concentration. She seems to be forming every card in the deck one by one. The amount of concentration it would take to do that is always amazes me to see someone with unusual powers like her. It's not just the effect they have, but the sheer potential for those powers to become even stronger. These people might as well be good gods walking among us mere mortals. Finally, the cards fully materialize in Kimiko's hands. There, it's done. What to play 500? It has been a while since we played that. After some game, Kimiko is already tired. It certainly has been a tiring day. Yeah. Thank you for playing some cards with me. It was just like old times. Sure was. When was the last time we played together? Probably it had been really boring Christmas party two years ago. Oh. God. Why did I have to remember that? I didn't think that the b boredom could kill you, but I came close to it that night. If Kimoka had uh, brought the deck of cards with her, that would have been the longest night of uh, my entire life. <laughs> well, it already was the longest night of my life, but at least it wasn't as long as it could have been. What Kimoka conjured up tonight was nothing short of impressive. The cards seemed to have the same constancy as the real cards. They bent the same way and had the same weight. Your cards felt like just the real thing. If I, it weren't for the distinct uh, golden color that Kimiko gives her con constructions, I would be, I would, I wouldn't be able to feel any difference. 
Even the texture and the smell of the cards like, uh, say like the actual thing. I'm very proud of my handiwork. With more than more practice, I'm learning how to refine what I make. <coughs> Imagine what I will be able to do with a few more years of practice. It will be amazing to see. She yawns once again. I'm going to get some sleep. She walks over to me and gives me a hug. Thanks for having some games with me, Akira. It's no problem. Good night. She quietly slips off uh, to one of the rooms. It's going to take her time to get used to Mesumi being around. There's no doubt about that. Mixing up personal relations with work relationships sure can be tricky. Oh well, I'm managing somehow. All of this nonsense will blow over eventually. Come to think of it, that Mesumi been up to this entire time? Has she just been lazing around in that chair? I think I better go check on her. Getting up from my chair, I begin to search around the house. Hey Mesumi, where have you disappeared to? I end up wandering into one of the bedrooms. <sighs> There's the picture. God, 31 minutes. <gasps> If I actually had let them fall, it wouldn't have been this long, I guess. So, at least that was all I have for Sakura Agent this time, then. So, hit like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye bye!